So my computer started getting like really, really freaking hot when I was editing videos. When it's idle, it's totally fine. But of course, I'm editing 1080p, 60 frames per second videos, and it can get pretty hot. And I always clean it out, you know, because I have animals everywhere, do dogs, cats, and so hair gets stuck up in these uh, mesh thingies. And I have an air compressor, just blow out the, the mesh thingies, and sometimes blow out the computer, and it's fine. But today, I was still editing, editing a video, and the little temperature indicator on the motherboard said it reached over 100 degrees Celsius, which is really, really dangerous and could like completely damage your parts. Of course, I was overclocking, so that has something to do with it. And now we're getting into spring, so it's getting a little bit hotter. But I also figured, well, it's been a while since I changed the thermal paste, and this was just the stock thermal paste on the uh, Corsair, I think it's the H100i, uh, all in one water loop, closed water loop. So I was gonna take off the thermal paste and put on some fresh, what was it? Arctic Silver 5 for my Series 5 or Generation 5 CPU. I don't think I'm gonna get a new CPU until I guess I like Gen 10, honestly. So this really shouldn't take that long. All you're doing is taking off the uh, water block on the CPU using some isopropyl alcohol. In the 90s is best because 70s isn't that great. Um, use the isopropyl alcohol to wipe it off like with a little Towelette or something. Some people say they use rags, like soft cloths, or uh, microfiber cloths. Some people use a little bit of toilet paper. There's just a bunch of different things. But I've been meaning to do a bunch of computer and tech videos lately on my channel, because, you know, of course I always do video games, and I have done some tech videos, usually product reviews. But I used to do a lot more computer stuff, and I'm always talking about computer stuff at at work and everything sometimes I talk about them on my live stream I believe so I wanted to do more videos just like some regular videos like a normal PC tech youtuber might do uh, not really instructional videos although building a computer on camera is usually fun but um I mean just like vlogs talking about stuff talking about tech answering tech questions uh, but are busting some common tech myths and of course information changes as time goes on tech keeps changing stuff keeps changing so we're gonna have to keep updating the videos as time goes on so as you can see this was the stock thermal compound probably not the greatest stuff I'm just gonna use a little isopropyl alcohol it's also good for cleaning bongs and stuff just a little side note and uh, I'm gonna apply some new Thermal paste on top. After I clean it off, of course. So yeah, I've been doing 1080p 60 frame per second videos for I believe two no 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 three years now. And then I upgraded my CPU at the end of not last year but uh, 2016. Got an Intel CPU instead of AMD. Went from 8350 to what was it? Uh. 5820K, yes. So it's still an enthusiast type CPU, but it's the lower end type one. So it's really good, but not that great. And like the new 8800K, I believe, is pretty much as good as this, the 5820K. The uh, lower end extreme processor or whatnot. But um, my, my CPU still has better L3 cache, I believe. But when we get to like, probably 10, 10K or something, I don't know, whatever. The 10th generation, I think that's when I'll upgrade my CPU. Because I would like to do 4K videos, 60 frames per second. But I've edited 4K videos, 60 frames per second on this rig. And it takes a really freaking long time because the files are so massive. But uh, like, yeah, you can see like my League of Legends gameplay, those 4K videos. Um, a couple video game gameplays. I think one of the Bioshocks. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, see, just already got it all off. Try not to disconnect uh, all the cables to make this as easy as possible. Now I'm gonna apply some more thermal paste. So there's like so many different methods, and some YouTube channels have tested a bajillion methods, even different compounds. 
and there are so many methods that work. I'm just gonna do like a little line or a P or something like that and then just put on my CPU water block and start it back up. Really the thing that scares me the most is the fact that I've never used a static wristband or anything like that in my, what, couple years of doing uh, PC stuff. Never had a part die, although my HDMI port on my old graphics card died, but it's still in the warranty so I just got it fixed. So it looks like the thermal paste swap was successful. I'm rendering a video right now, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it's only getting a 77 degrees Celsius, at least according to the motherboard. And like I was saying before, it was going 90s to the hundreds and everything like that. So yeah, and I didn't clean any dust out since I did the thermal paste switch or swap or whatever. I have been cleaning up the dust on my computer, you know, regularly and it was still getting high temperatures, so I just switched out the th uh, thermal compound or whatever, CPU paste, whatever you want to call it. Just clean it off, some isopropyl alcohol, put some more on, reattached it, took like five minutes. And now it's like 30% or 30 degrees Celsius better. Or 20, let's just say 20 to be on the conservative side. That's pretty much it, just a little vlog talking about tech and switching out my thermal compound. Like I said, I hope to do more vlogs coming soon, uh, talking about tech, PC, mitts, and all that stuff. Hopefully, you know, the dog doesn't bark next door, because, you know, that's not my dog. That's, that's the neighbor's dog. He's cool, though. He's cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, leave a comment if you, wanna, if you want me to talk about a certain tech subject. And subscribe, you know, for more tech stuff and video game gameplay, live streams, and all that stuff. See you guys later.